Hello friends, welcome to Tech Mecca YouTube channel. In this video we discuss top 14 centrifugal interview questions, which is basically help for mechanical engineer. Basically a centrifugal pump is of very simple design. The only moving part is an impeller attached to a shaft that is driven by the motor. Watching this video a fresher mechanical engineer will know what has been asked in interview board. See full this video to lend to gather knowledge about centrifugal pump. You can ask any question to us by social media, and we will try to solve your queries. Let's start video. Question number one. What is positive displacement pump? Name different types positive displacement pump. Answer. Positive displacement pump are those which discharge specific amount and quantity is constant. Positive displacement pumps are that which prevents undesirable flow and pumps the fluid within the closed space. Positive displacement pumps example are multi-stage pumps, process type pumps, chemical process pumps, can motor pumps, centrifugal pumps, paper stroke pumps, and deep well turbine pumps. Question number two. Why the centrifugal pump is called high discharge pump? Answer. Centrifugal pump is a kinetic device. The centrifugal pump uses the centrifugal force to push out the fluid. So the liquid entering the pump receives kinetic energy from the rotating impeller. The centrifugal action of the impeller accelerates the liquid to a high velocity, transferring mechanical, rotational energy to the liquid. So it discharges the liquid in high rate. Question number three. What does a pump develop? Give reason to support your answer. Answer. Pump is a device that is used to transfer fluid from one place to another place, which means it develops flow not pressure. Pressure is a measurement of the resistance to flow. Question number four. What is NPSH for centrifugal pump? Answer. NPSH stands for net positive suction head for any pump act. To the design and capacity of pump a net pressure head is required which is called net positive suction head. If pressure falls the NPSH, then cavitation will occur. It is net positive suction head to avoid cavitations, since pressure is below the vapor pressure bubbles forms that cause cavitations to avoid these we go for a pressure more than vapor pressure. Please subscribe to the Tech Mecca channel. Question number 5. What NPSH is and how to calculate it for a centrifugal pump? Answer. NPSH is net positive suction head of a pump. For centrifugal pumps, it is calculated as follows. NPSH equals atmospheric pressure plus static head vapor pressure pressure loss in the suction piping pressure loss due to the suction strainer. Question number six. What is priming? Answer. Pump casing must be filled with liquid before the pump is started or the pump will not be able to function. If the pump casing becomes filled with vapors or gases, the pump impeller becomes gas bound and incapable of pumping. Question number seven. What is hydrodynamic cavitations? Answer. Hydrodynamic cavitation describes the process of vaporization in a constrained channel at a specific velocity. Bubble generation and bubble implosion which occurs in a flowing liquid as a result of a decrease in subsequent increase in pressure. Question number eight. Why cavitations will occur in centrifugal pump and not in displacement pump? Answer. The formation of cavities, or bubbles, is induced by flow separation, or non-uniform flow velocities, inside a pump casing. In centrifugal pumps the eye of the pump impeller is smaller than the flow area of pipe. This decrease in flow area of pump results in increase in flow rate. So pressure drop happened between pump suction and the veins of the impeller. Here air bubbles or cavities are formed because of liquid vapor, due to increase in temperature and impeller. This air bubbles are transmitted to pump which forms cavitation. Please subscribe to the Tech Mecca channel. Question number 9. How cavitation can be eliminated by pump? Answer. Cavitations means bubbles are forming in the liquid. To avoid cavitations, we have to increase the pump size to 1 or 2 inch, to increase the pressure of the suction head, or decrease the pump speed. Question number 10. What is suction pressure and discharge pressure? Answer. Simply, the suction pressure of a pump is the absolute pressure of a fluid, measured at the inlet of the pump, the discharge pressure is the absolute pressure of the liquid, measured at the outlet of the pump. Obviously, the discharge pressure is usually bigger than suction pressure. Question number 11. Which pump is more efficient centrifugal pump or reciprocating pump? Answer. Centrifugal pump because flow rate is higher compared to reciprocating pump. Flow is smooth and it requires less space to install. Lower initial cost and lower maintenance cost. 
Question number 12. What is the difference between suction lift and suction head? Answer. The inlet pressure of a pump when above atmospheric pressure is suction head. The inlet pressure of a pump when below atmospheric pressure is suction lift. Suction head is the vertical distance VW sump and the center of impeller, whereas suction lift is the distance VW center of impeller and head, against which the pump has to deliver the liquid. Question number 13. Why centrifugal pump is not called as a positive displacement type of pump? Answer. The centrifugal has varying flow depending on pressure or head, whereas the positive displacement pump has more or less constant flow regardless of pressure. Likewise, viscosity is constant for positive displacement pump where centrifugal pump have up and down value, because the higher viscosity liquids fill the clearances of the pump, causing a higher volumetric efficiency. When there is a viscosity change in supply there is also greater loss in the system. This means change in pump flow affected by the pressure change. One more example is, positive displacement pump has more or less constant efficiency, where centrifugal pump has varying. Question number 14. How's the excess discharge pressure prevented? Answer. Discharge pressure prevented by a pressurized spike cushion. Here the system employs a pressurized cushion of air and a two o-ring piston, which permanently separates this air cushion from the water system. When the valve closes and the water flow is suddenly stopped, the pressure spike pushes the piston up the arrestor chamber against the pressurized cushion of air. The air cushion in the arrestor reacts instantly, absorbing the pressure spike that causes water hammer. Thanks for watching our video till ends.